Hi, I'm Gary Lilly, Superintendent of Carnival Schools. Wanted to let you know that we're excited about welcoming back our hybrid middle school students to five day instruction on Monday, November the 2nd. The way we're going to be able to do that is by using a digital learning classroom so that uh, we actually maintain six feet of distance. So if a class is at capacity, some amount of students on a rotational basis will go to the digital learning classroom and they'll have that period there where they learn remotely and then that will be on a period by period basis so uh, it's very possible that a student will uh, uh, be in the digital learning classroom one day and not have to go back to the digital learning classroom for six seven eight nine days or more uh, so that way we maximize the amount of time that students are in the, the class. It is definitely our desire to get all students who want the in-person experience back full time. So uh, stay tuned, we'll definitely give you more information on that. Next up we've got uh, the principals of Carville Middle School and West Carville Middle School that are going to explain the uh, plan in a little more detail. Hello, I'm Beth Robbins, principal of West Carville Middle School. I'm Anita Swindle, principal of Collierville Middle School. We have been hard at work over the break making plans and working, uh, working our individual buildings and the adjustments that will have to be made to make this possible. Um, when we return, we will be following all of our protocols that we have practiced up until this point. Students will be six feet apart, masking in the hallways, one-sided lanes in the hallways, all the things that we've done up to now in the hybrid model will continue when we go to the full five-day in-person learning model. When we do this, there will be more children in the school and more children in the classrooms. So first we have to identify in every classroom how many students can fit in a classroom and still maintain the six feet social distancing. And then for example, if the first period class has 23 students and the room holds 16, then that teacher is going to identify the difference of students and they are going to be sent to a digital learning area within the school. One of the reasons that this is taking a little bit of time is we are going to have to add additional staff to supervise and monitor the students who are in our digital learning areas. Uh, throughout the day, students will be transitioning and those students who are to go to the digital learning area will be pre-identified, they'll know where they need to go. Once there, they will zoom into or team into the classroom uh, for live instruction, uh, much like they did at home, but at this time, they'll be doing it on campus. If a student needs to be at home on a day for any reason, they will be able to live stream right in just like we've been doing previously. For instance, if a student were needing to quarantine at home, they would be able to remain a digital learner during that time period. Um, we are super excited to have our students back uh, and we know the students are excited to be together and we're certainly excited to have them back in the building. Now, as a current hybrid parent, if you are uncomfortable with this change and you would like to move to the virtual, please email either myself directly or Ms. Swindle directly and we will help you transition to that option. We so look forward to having all of our hybrid students back five days a week. Remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out with your questions. Also this week, look for more information with some detailed FAQs from the district, as well as more information coming from both Ms. Robbins and myself. Dragons, we look forward to having you back on November the 2nd.